Yo, talk about fumbling in the bag, yo. Now 2K got in on it. Y'all see where we're going with this, man. Damn, it's one of those years, ain't it? Cat Williams been spoke about this, man. Now 2K is about to remove Dr. Disrespect from its game and future games as well. <laughs> so y'all know what it is by now, man. Without further ado, I need y'all to grab yourself that brew and let's get to the video. You want 2K rumors and news? You in the right place. Want a community that's cool? You in the right space. You want tips? Subscribe now and ring the bell. Then go to the park and give them hell. The Boot Squad is an organization with all winners. Soldiers up in formation. We all killers. And when you step on the court, yo, you're our dinner. When I play D in the fourth, yo, Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard. So you're done now. Your boy Brutal him on the scene, wicked and mean, with a next video for y'all, man. So, we about to get straight to the news. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Making a push for that 200k, it's on the way. And y'all see what it is right now, man. So, this is taken from Disorder. They actually come from that 2k is about to remove Dr. Disrespect in the next, in the upcoming week. So, let's get into the article real quick. And, of course, we're going to check out Dr. Disrespect's statement at the end of the video as well so according to this website the Soto, they said nba 2k to remove dr disrespect content following twitch band scandal they admit the fallout surrounding prominent streamer dr disrespect 2k confirms to dex Soder that his presence will be removed from nba 2k24 over the coming weeks the last week a former twitch employee posted a message on twitter or x let's call it twitter man that x thing is not gonna stick okay on twitter let's keep it twitter for now a legend that streamer Dr. Disrespect was permanently banned from the streaming platform for inappropriately messaging a minor. I ain't gonna lie, every time I see a minor now, I think about Kendrick and that line, bro. I ain't gonna front with y'all. So since then, Dr. Disrespect has admitted to sending the messages and confirmed that they were the reason for his ban, prompting several organizations to distance themselves from the streamer. Dr. Disrespect's gaming studio, Midnight Society, has disassociated itself with him and recently, the San Francisco 49ers stated that the team will no longer collaborate with Doc either. Now, 2K has decided to cut ties with Dr. Disrespect and as his name in NBA 2K24 will disappear over the next few weeks. 2K confirms to the exterior that the streamer's name will be removed from the game and his animations and will be replaced with generic names instead. So they're probably just going to change the name and leave the animations to be honest with y'all. The Dr. Disrespect has been featured in my career as his custom in-game jump shot and dunk style was featured in the game as a equipable animation the developers of 2k24 will do this once the season 9 patch releases as the update for season 8 was released just a few days earlier additionally this is why i think he was about to be featured in 2k25 right here right so additionally 2k will not feature dr disrespect content in subsequent games so this is why i believe there's about to feature him in 2k25 as well the news comes after Dr. Disrespect confirmed on X that he did interact inappropriately with a minor, <laughs> but denied any ill intentions behind his message. Now we are about to go check out Dr. Disrespect statement right here. And let me know your thoughts after we go through this statement. So said a Twitch band, hello, I'd like to make a quick statement. Let's cut the effing BS. As you know, there is no filter with me. I've always been upfront and real with you guys on anything that I can be upfront about. And I'm always willing to accept responsibility, which is why I'm here now. First and foremost, I do want to apologize to everyone in my community, as well as those close to me, my team, and everyone at Midnight Society Game Studio. A lot of people have been left in the dark about what happened yesterday with Midnight Society and I, and we made the painful decision collectively to have me step down. Our team is full of incredible, talented, and good people that have high career ambitions and families, and I never want 
jeopardize. He probably never want to jeopardize the culture we have carefully crafted. So everyone have been wanting to know why I was banned from Twitter, but for reasons outside of my control, I was not allowed to say anything for the last several years. Now that two former Twitch employees have publicly disclosed the accusations, I can now tell you my side of the story regarding the ban. So were there Twitch whisper messages with an individual minor back in 2017? The answer is yes. Were there real intentions behind these messages? The answer is absolutely not. Now, what I was waiting to see is him saying he didn't know it was a minor. Now, I have some serious bias in this whole conversation, so I'm going to try to leave my opinion out of it because you all know recently I got a daughter. Probably like two, two years ago, I got a daughter. So my opinion is bias. So let me put out that disclaimer right now. I have a really biased opinion on this conversation. So let's just stick to what he was saying right here. I was really waiting to hear him said he didn't know it was a minor. That's the line I'm missing from this whole statement. Now let's continue on. Said these were casual mutual conversation that sometimes lean too much in the direction of being inappropriate. But nothing more, nothing illegal happened. No pictures were shared, no crimes were committed. I never even met the individual. I went through a lengthy arbitration regarding a civil dispute with Twitch and that case was resolved by a settlement. Let me be clear, it was not a criminal case against me and no criminal charges have been brought against me. Now, from a moral standpoint, I'll absolutely take responsibility. I should have never entertained these conversations to begin with and you damn well right. You are right on that. 110 percent should have never entertained it i don't even know why you want to have a conversation with a minor let's continue on that's on me that's on me as an adult as a husband and a father it should have never happened i get it i'm not perfect and i'll own it this was stupid now with all that being said don't get it mistaken i'm trying to sense this as much as possible i've seen all the remarks and labels being thrown around so loosely social media is a destruction zone and that's facts i'm no predator or pedophile are you kidding me anyone that truly knows me knows where i stand on those things and those type of people the hell with that that's a different level of disgust that I hate. Yeah, even hearing about it. Don't be labeling me as the worst of the worst with your exaggerations. Get the hell out of here. Again, I'm trying to sense this as much as possible, but I think I've said what I needed to say regarding the band itself. That's it. That's why Twitch made that decision in 2020. To my team, community, industry friends that have supported me i apologize i wish i could have said all this sooner you guys have always showed me and my family love and support throughout all these years we love you guys like you can't imagine i have the best community and circle if any of this have made you uncomfortable i get it you don't have to support me anymore but just know you have always been greatly appreciated. But trust me when I say this to all the haters that live and breathe social media with zero real life experience, I don't give a damn about you. I'm trying to sense this as much as possible. Said finally, if you're uncomfortable with this entire statement and think I'm a piece of trash, that's fine, but I'm not going anywhere. I'm not the same guy that made a mistake all those years ago. I'm taking an extended vacation with my family as mentioned on stream and I'm coming back with a heavy weight off my shoulders. And that's his statement right there. 
let me know your thoughts as well again i have a serious bias in this whole conversation and there's a lot of ways i could go with this but i won't but i'm here to report the news he will not be on 2k no more they're removing i believe they're gonna remove him from 2k25 as well because once they say that subsequent word yeah i have reason to believe that he was in 2k25 and they're about to remove him from all that from all that but let me know what y'all think about this whole situation y'all know what it is man your boy gonna keep y'all up to date on everything in the 2k community if you're first time to the channel make sure like share and subscribe how blessed one be safe out there y'all peace